My name is Dr. Rilan Pape. I'm a lecturer at Haifa University and I'm a historian by profession and I write mostly on the uh, Israeli-Palestinian conflict and particularly on the history of the 1948 war. After 2,000 years of persecutions, exile, abnormal existence as uh, communities around the world, there was a sense that in 1948 a new epoch begins in the life of the Jewish people. Begins the period of self-determination, independence, fulfillment, and so forth. And yet, 1948 was the year in which Jews had done the most evil things to others, like Jews had never done before in a period of 2,000 years. Within less than a year, Jews colonized, occupied, expelled, destroyed, massacred, and raped another people. <coughs> I think there are uh, three main uh, myths that uh, sort of uh, inform the mainstream Israeli uh, uh, Jewish society. The first one is that a lot of them still believe, because that's the way they had been educated, that Palestine was empty, had been empty when the Jewish settlers came there in the uh, late 19th century. Uh, they're still feeling there that uh, basically the, the Palestinian inhabitants of Palestine are either a nuisance or newcomers or irrelevant. Uh, they are an obstacle, but not people with rights or people with indigenous rights. The second myth had, uh, is more directly connected to 1948. Most uh, Israeli Jews believe that the Palestinians left voluntarily in 1948. They are not aware or do not want to be aware of the fact that the, an ethnic cleansing took place in 1948. And the third myth uh, uh, is about the occupation. Uh, very few uh, Israelis, although there are some, but very few Israelis would call it occupation at all. Very few uh, relate to any uh, of the Palestinian demands to end the occupation. And uh, most Israeli Jews would regard the war against them not as a war of liberation or a war against occupation, but as part of a more general scheme by Arabs in general or Muslims in general to destroy the Jewish state. Yeah, that's not desperation. That's not desperation. Why, is desperation. Why is Israel on the West Bank? Can you answer that? Yes, no, what, what got them there? Yes, we got them. They got them because their policy there, they want to occupy the land. My sister can't get out of their house. Jordan attacked Israel. For months now, months because they get shot at their roads. Is this desperation? Well, going back to 1948 for a bit, could you speak a little bit more in detail about some of the things which your own historical yeah. research has focused mm -hmm. on? Mm -hmm. I, I think that uh, the several points which uh, uh, my own book and books by my colleagues who are, we are together, sort of lumped together, and we are called the new historians, i.e. those who revise and challenge the main Israeli version of 1948. And we focus on several points. One is the, the point that um, the myths, actually, we sort of debunk several myths. One, the first myth is that uh, Israel was fighting the rest of the Arab world, or the whole of the Arab world, actually, in a kind of David, David and Goliath uh, uh, war. And actually what we found that uh, although there was a lot of war rhetoric on the Arab side, uh, very few uh, soldiers, Arab soldiers, were sent into the battlefield. And actually, for most parts of the world, of the war, there was a superiority uh, on the side of the Israeli uh, army. Uh, and in fact, one of the most important Arab armies, the Jordanian army, had colluded with the Israelis before the war to divide Palestine between the Jordanians and the Israelis. So one. One of the myths, the first myth we debunk, so to speak, or undermine, is the few against many, which is very important in Israeli psyche and Israeli uh, mentality. The second one is the most important one, I think, with the myth that the Palestinians left uh, voluntarily. Uh, we found out that there was a systematic expulsion of Palestinians 
uh, and there was, as I said, there was an ethnic cleansing operation taking place. The third one is also quite important, I think, has to do with the fact that there was willingness, there had been willingness on the Arab side in general and on the Palestinian side in particular, to conclude uh, some sort of an agreement with the Jewish state after the war. And it was the Israeli intransigence and inflexible position uh, that failed the peace efforts after the 1948 war. Uh, the, the transfer committee was part of the outfit uh, in the pre-1948 uh, Palestine that uh, belonged to the Jewish agency, to the Jewish leadership. And its 